And a half century later, their pain has still not healed. That's the message from students who planned to graduate from Williston Senior High School in 1969 and 70, but never got the chance. Instead, they became the first classes to fully integrate New Hanover County schools. But now those students will get the chance to graduate from their beloved Williston. A special ceremony is planned for July 1st, a legacy graduation for those alumni who, although they made history, still feel the hurt from what happened 55 years ago. June 7th, 1968. Williston High School's graduating class. These seniors at New Hanover County's All Black High School never knew generations of history would end with them. Williston was a part of the cultural community. You had home, mm -hmm. you had church, and you had Williston. It was a staple of the community. This was the epicenter of, of learning for us. This is where our parents went to school. This is where some of our grandparents went to school. Williston's history dates back to 1866. Missionaries built the school to educate newly freed slaves. Williston became North Carolina's first accredited high school for black students in 1923. By 1968, a full 14 years after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled racial segregation in schools to be unconstitutional, the county school board still did not have a desegregation plan that satisfied the federal government. Already facing one lawsuit and the possibility of losing hundreds of thousands of dollars in federal funding, the school board voted on June 26th to abolish Williston Senior High, sending its 900 black students to predominantly white Hoggard and New Hanover high schools. It sent a shock wave throughout the community. Nobody suspected it. Nobody understood why until this very day. Nobody has ever explained to any of us why Williston High School was closed. If some person from the board, central office, or even in the community had taken those students up at the last minute and tried to reassure them Everything's going to be all right. Just, it would have helped so much. Bertha Todd worked as a librarian at Williston Senior High when the school board made its decision. How were you treated at Hogger when you went over there? We looked like aliens to some at the first faculty meeting. Some teachers came up and welcomed us. Most of the teachers went about their business. And I've always said, even in my book, My Restless Journey, if the teachers got that kind of treatment, then the students, as immature as they were and as shocked as they were, may have gotten it worse. As librarian and later assistant principal at Hoggard, Ms. Todd worked to keep the peace between students during the turbulent times that followed. Efforts like the Viking 16, a group of eight black students and eight white students she brought together to calmly discuss and debate the issues that divided the country. Selecting those young students, black and white, gave them a feeling of importance, sure. which is what I wanted them to feel. But the racial strife remained. Fights in the schools led to fights in the streets. William Boykin of the class of 1970 remembers fearing for his life. And when I got to that Malacca, I was surrounded by white students mm -hmm. telling me, y'all think y'all are so damn smart, excuse my language. And I was just fortunate enough that right there was, down the hall was the assistant principal office that seen the crowd gathering that came and rescued me. Now, 55 years after the decision to close Williston Senior High, alumni from those last two classes will be students again, given the graduation they never received. All of my classmates thought that it was a, a very good idea 
and time for healing. And the question that has come up over and over again is why did it take so long? Do you have any idea what the emotion is going to be when you walk across the stage on that legacy graduation? It's going to feel like I wish my parents were here. To see it. It's going to be an awesome feeling to walk across the stage of Williston Senior High School and get a diploma. Along with that diploma, the hope is the alumni will receive some closure to help heal the hurt from 1968. New Hanover County Schools, along with the county and city governments, are partnering to host the Legacy Graduation July 1st. And WECT plans to stream the event live so those who cannot attend will be able to watch. Now, if you know a member of the Williston Senior High classes of 1969 or 70, let them know about it. The deadline for them to register is May 1st. We have details inside this story on our website.